Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. I I got pimples. I'm trying this new moisturizer. I'm trying retinol on my face. So I think I'm breaking out because it's flushing all the dirt out of my face. So it's a good thing. Anyways, um, I don't know what this video is going to be about again. I'm here home alone because my grandma is gone for um, some water therapy. I do not know what exactly it is, but she is gone. So I'm here alone for the entire week, which is, I love it. I'm, I'm pretty much a loner, so I love to spend time by myself all alone. There is like literally nothing else that I love more than being just by myself, sitting here, doing something, probably writing or I just watch TV shows. But right now I'm not really having any luck in both the departments because I'm not finding any TV shows to watch, any good TV shows to watch. And for movies, I do not have any good movies to watch either. What I have is just the old ones, but let's see. I don't know what I have. Like I probably will just have to see what I have in my SD card and just watch one of the movies, one of the many movies that I have collected over the years of my entire 23 year old, year old span. Sorry about the dog. Jesus, that's loud. They're fighting. It's winters going on, so everything is very loud, very loud. So you just hear everything. At night, it's very loud, especially when you're trying to sleep. Everything is just like, it's like all on your face. It gets scary sometimes. That's, that's one of the cons of living alone. You get scared, especially when you're watching something horror or something horror related documentaries at night. That just scares the out of me. Anyways, I bought ramen. Let, let me show you. I bought ramen noodles. I have never, sorry about that. I have never tried ramen before. So wait, let me just sit down. So now that I got comfortable, let me just show you what I got yesterday. I bought ramen. I did not get any other. I wanted to try the pink packet one because I asked my friend. She said that that is the mildest. That is the mildest one, but I didn't find that. So I got this one over here. It says hot and spicy. I my spice tolerance is let's just say it's not that good. It's fine, but it's not that fine. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm going to cook this today because why not? I'm going to try how it tastes. Also, I have never tried ramen because I, I think I said this before, I've never tried ramen. So this is going to be a new experience for me too. Let's just see how it tastes. Anyways, apart from that, I got popcorn here. I usually do not eat popcorn. I don't know why I've got that. And I got this. I love these. I don't know how to make this. I mean, I know how to make this because they have all the ingredients and all the uh, spices that goes in it inside the packet it, it, itself. But you have to cut veggies as well, which I love sometimes whenever I'm angry. Not today. Today I'm very busy. I have to edit a lot of videos and I have to edit Instagram videos. I just shot uh, content for Instagram. If you don't follow me there, please, please do that if you're watching this video. I would really appreciate it. So yeah, that's why all the makeup. Otherwise I usually don't wear that much makeup or at all. Uh, so yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make the ramen and film it. Probably I'm going to make it at night. So let's talk before that. Let me give you a bit of a life update. I quit my job, my last job. And yeah, I'm doing something else now. So I'm pretty excited. Not excited. I don't really get excited. I don't know why I said that because I think that's what is required from you to say. Anyways, anyways, 
yeah i'm doing something else i'm trying something else so let's see how that works out anyway i quit the job because um it's it was like it was taking a toll on me it was pretty far away from my home it was like two hours away and it just was getting a lot too much too much so yeah i left it i think it was the perfect time to leave it anyway so yeah that's that's what going on in my life right now i have to go to the office thingy of this whole com what's it called the apartment building i have to go to the office of the apartment building because i have to renew my parking and yeah i'm going to go do that and take you with me so let's go let's go oh by the way i forgot to show it to you i got some chocolate um actually my grandma's sister's daughter brought bought me this because they came to the house and thank you yeah it's just i sometimes do not know what to say and how to react to a lot of things and this is one of them it just makes me so awkward i do not have social anxiety but maybe i do i don't know exactly what i have what i don't have i'm just a weird person so yeah things a lot of things makes me awkward like a lot awkward for example appreciating people and the people i love and i care about i never say thank you to them or appreciate them for a lot of things which just makes me sad i usually write it and just think of a time when i can say it to them when i have the courage to say it to them but that time really never comes and that just makes me so sad i think i should just say it to them when i have time you know because you never know it's getting sad i can feel it i can feel it let's let's just go let's just go look at this it's sunny today yesterday you couldn't even see those buildings over there it was that much fog cold hair and i'm freezing literally even after wearing this it's really cold you know what the time is it's one it's one in the afternoon and there are people sitting outside i don't get it how i'm the kind of person who gets so cold and who use like two blankets like those big blankets and after that as well i'm still cold i have to be like sweatshirts and sometimes even this jacket when i'm trying to sleep otherwise i just get like shiver all night i am back got the ticket got the ticket like uh, like a receipt it's a receipt yeah so i just had to thankfully they allotted the parking spots what's going on here and i just had to pay and get the receipt so that was a success story it's really sunny outside and i wasn't wearing any sunscreen so now i'm scared oh my god i'm just going to prepare my lunch right now and yeah i'm just going to probably watch young sheldon i love that show i love sheldon cooper i love big bang theory i love young sheldon I love these little sitcoms, Two Broke Girls, Rizzoli and Isles. It's one of my favorite TV shows when it comes to crime shows. Love it. I started watching The Blacklist. I think I finished it till season five. But yeah, I, I didn't watch the last season or the last episode of the season. It's a problem with me. It's a thing with me. Wait, my grandma is calling me. Just give me a second. Yeah, so that was my grandma. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, the last, the last episodes of the TV shows. I have this thing. I cannot watch the last episode of a TV show when I know that it's ending and they're not going to renew the season. Um, and yeah, I, I, I think I have something, like something, because it's like I cannot say goodbye. It's so hard for me. It's just... it. I, I'm not going to say it breaks my heart, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, it does something to me. I cannot say goodbye, especially to the TV shows that 
I really loved throughout the whole seasons. Yeah, it's just like, it's, it's a weird thing. I don't know. I don't know what exactly it is. So yeah, it's so cold. My throat is kind of hurting. Probably I should drink some hot water with honey in it. Honey heals. I never, I never knew that, but it's true. Honey truly heals. Because the last time when I got sore throat, I drank hot water with honey in it and it just healed my throat, which was like, wow, never knew this. This is, this is amazing. I'm going to just put it in my medicine cabinet from now on. Because I get a lot, like my throat hurts a lot. I get cold so easily, so quickly whenever the weather is changing. So yeah, it's, it's bad. Anyways, I'm just gonna go remove this and gonna go eat. Hello, I'm back. My makeup is off. I tried sleeping in the afternoon, but I couldn't because the moment I was about to fall asleep, the bell rang and I woke up in a shock. I got myself some honey water, hot water with honey. It smells disgusting, but it's good for the throat. It tastes fine. You, you, you get used to after a while. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, yeah, you can. It's hot. I like it. I cannot drink a lot of hot things on my own or eat that much because I have very sensitive mouth and very sensitive teeth. I cannot drink cold things as well. Did you know how awkward it is? How awkward it feels? when you are kind of the center of attention when you're leaving the office and you're doing the cake cutting ceremony because your colleagues want to bid bid you bid bid give you a good farewell let's just put it that way it's so awkward i felt so not at ease at any moment because everybody was like staring at me I don't have any problem with cutting the cake. What comes after that? That pisses me off. Not, not pisses me off. That just bugs me off because my face gets so red. My hands start to like shiver a lot because of all the anxiety and the nervousness. And then when they ask you to tell them something good about them, all of them, then I'm like, you all were really nice. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. I don't know what else to say. I mean, you all are good people. But you were just my colleagues. I saw you as colleagues. You're not my friends. I don't know what to say. Peace. So that part gets really awkward for me. For I don't know. Some people are so good at it. Some people are flawless at it. I know, I know one or two people who are just like, with anything, anything, they're just on the spot and somebody asks them anything, they will be like just making up some some sort of story or just sh sharing, I don't know what, they're just speaking out loud. I can never do that. For something like this, I need to prepare for like one month in advance and then practice it in front of mirror over and over and over and over again. And after that as well, I will still get nervous. I don't know why it is anxiety obviously but also i don't know these people that that well also the fact that i'm really not good with expressing myself i have been i've been having a lot of issues with expressing myself because i think i don't know how i haven't really found that sweet spot yet about you know self-expression I'm working on it though, I'm working on it. I'm not going to give it up that quickly or that easily. I'm going to become a master of it. It's just a butter thingy. I'm putting the butter away. I don't know, it fell. I don't even know how. I don't even eat butter. I don't know how long has it been. 
Anyways, did you hear that? No, nothing. So I just took a shower. I did a workout. It was amazing. I was waiting that, you know, I, I've been like, ever since I joined the new company, I haven't really been getting a lot of time to work out. So now that I have left it, I'm trying to compensate off all the time and getting, trying to get back in shape. I know, I know, I said in the beginning of the video that we are going to make a ramen today, but unfortunately I'm not going to because we are going to have this. We're going to have some chow mein. I, you know, the thing was, I wanted to try the ramen, but I changed my mind the last minute and I didn't want it to anymore. So I asked the lady who comes here to cook food for me, bless her heart, to make this for me. First and foremost, I'm going to heat it up in the mic in the tiny little microwave over there. My hair is not hairing. They're kind of uh, wet. I tried to dry them up, but I couldn't. Is that tomato or is that pepper? Should I should I eat it? It's a pepper. Oh, life of dead. So I recently got my fillings in few of my teeth from cavity. This side, it's amazing. I can chew food now. But this side, it's still healing. It still hurts whenever I try to eat something from this side. That's strange. But I looked it up on Google. Very reliable source, isn't it? That why is this okay? I don't know, it was something that it was a deep cavity and when they drilled it down, it hit a nerve and that got swo swollen up. And the nerve will take like a week or two to heal up properly. So yeah, it's that thing. I don't know exactly what, but it's something in that realm. And I hope it's in that realm because I do not, I do not want to end up in the dentist table again. I do not want it. I hate the sound of the drill. It's scary. It's really scary. Anyway, tomorrow I'm not going to be alone. Grandma is going to come back. So that's a great news. Sometimes I get really lonely, you know? It's the couple of days then you when you feel like okay it's fine because you're you have a routine going on you're going to work or doing something and then after a while it just gets so lonely when you're alone by just by yourself it does thanks to television it does not but it it still sometimes does especially on the weekends when grandma's not here it does get lonely like really and th those are the time when i realized that oh man god damn it i am lonely and not just alone anyways i have yesterday's leftover as well let's just see how they are if they're in good shape i will consume them if they're not dust when it is yesterday as well i ordered chinese i love chinese it smells fine Taste, I've gotta taste it. Oh my god, I shot a reel, I think last week, and I was editing it today. I could not, could not, for the love of God, find any song that can, you know, go well with it. What the f is? That scared me. There are a lot of pigeons in this society. They all go so wanky all the time. And when you're sleeping at night, they I think they live on I don't know where they live. They I think they live there is like it's a building, so there are a few empty spaces 
on every floor. They live in one of those. And it's near my room, very, very close to my room. So every time they make a noise, it's so loud. And they're making noise out of nowhere. So in the middle of the night, out of nowhere, I'm trying to sleep. Sometimes I, like, I, I, I sleep as well. And I wake up to the wonkiest noises that they're making. Oh, by the way, I ate those popcorns. I love them. I really love them. Oh, this savior for everything. Trying to open it. Can't. Oh, there you go. There you go. I love it. I do not eat that much spicy food, but with this, it just goes well. Just going to put a little bit here and there and there. And there you go. Look at it. So hot. Looks so pretty. Does it? Uh, on the camera, it does not. But it is so pretty. So excited. It smells so good. So excited to eat this. Anyways, I think I'm just going to end this video over here. Because after heating this up, I'm just going to go and eat it. And I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm probably going to see that new movie with Jodie Coma with like a apocalypse thing and she's a mom. I cannot remember the name of it. I will let you know. Yeah, but yeah, I think I'm going to end it here and I'm gonna go eat this food. Then I'm going to edit some videos and I don't know. Rest is, rest is the future. We'll see what happens. Okay, see ya. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching this video if you did. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all those things. And please comment down below if you would, if you like to. This is a safe space. You can share anything with me, any feedback or any advice or any anything that you related with in this video. Please let me know. Okay, see ya. Bye bye.